All right, Chapter 3, Maintenance, um, Section 1, General. 42 electrical equipment. The maximum surface that can be obtained with electrical machinery only when it is kept dry and clean. The especially true of the copper dust, the brake shoe, the dust, or other mechanical matter with the main collect with about the apparatus. All apparatus should be blown out using dry compressed air with the part assembly with the wipe off the clean. The wiping rag, the wi- wiping um, rags are preferable to cotton um, waste as they are uh, less liable to leave limit lint. When using the air clean with the vicinity of the exposed mica, the insulation of the care should be taken with the not use the high pressure small flakes of mica will be not be, will be blown off. Finally, resulting with the complete destruction of the insulation. Oil is very destructive to the insulating material as collects the du- dirt, dust and dirt, causing the breakdown of the electrical. Electrically, um, when lubricating apparatus, extreme with the car, care should be taken to prevent lubrication for the getting of the insulated with the parts. If it does not um, get on these parts, it should be thoroughly wiped off with a clean rag. Um, see all the screws and bolts which the, um, which the securely electrical connection should be kept in the type of the inside with the ground, good contact making the ground connection the surface of which with the connection to be made should be cleaned thoroughly with all the dirt and paint with the rust and the issue of the good electrical content. Cement may be used to advantage of the repairing burning burn, burn insulation such as chutes or siding the contactors and switches using using varnish insula, electrical insulation conform with the military specification mil v eleven eleven thirty seven a for all cables exposed the dirt moisture especially with the um, where the creepage is important with the highly insulating qualities given the smooth surface which is easily clean. 43. Control equipment. During the inspection of the control equipment, check for the following. Loose nuts or screws, cotter pins missing if they're not split, broken wear springs, and uh, weak contact pressure, interlocking relay contact, and proper the wipe or the brake grease or dirt insulation materials, warm burn contact, or loose and terminal connection, broken insulators. When painting the control equipment, the varnish for the electrical insulation conforming with the military specifications, mil V 1137A. The running of the gear and the mechanically inspection of the trucks, other parts of the running gear and the equipment, the frequency service of condition may require for loose missing bolts of the nuts, warm with wearing plates with worn with broken bearings, defective gears and gear cases, broken springs, etc. The inspection should include the following parts. Gear and gear cases, motor axle caps supporting the bolts and nuts and linings, motor armature bearings, motor nose, suspension bolts and springs and safety lugs and hangers, journal boxes wearing the plates and bearings, pedestal wearing plates, the equalizer springs and the dust guards, um, HRI thrust and plates and end axles, wheels, hub liners, center plates and side bearings, brake rigging, including cylinder level hangers, um, pins, brake shoes, brake shoe heads and material and buckles. All right, sand hoser pipes, couplers, and motor leading to support clamps and air brake hoses. The 45, the engine generator mounting. The most common design for the use of the connection for the engine for the generated bowl, the generated motor engine with multi connection for the connection for the flexible coupling for the rabbit. Fit, rab, rabbit, rabbit fits with the, um, give it the correct alignment with the coupling and the properly equalize the air gap. The set with the support of the plane, point of suspension, one of the, each of the side of the generator, one of the fan handed with the engine with the common sub base. The pads are usually used when the generator supports the fan end with being rigidly bolted with the support of the sub base. The sub base is fastened to the locomotive pla- um, platform by the um, bolts. The longitudinal movement of the set is restricted to the total of the um, 16,000 of an inch of the zero or 8,000 of an inch on each side of the block. So while the generated support of the clearance should be checked occasionally during the service of that it should does not become the excess of the engine generator with the sub base mounted with the locomotive deck type deck plate on strip of the um, strips of the cork laid on the deck plate on one of the sub base. The base is held in place by the by bolts, water cooling system. After the operating the circul- operating the circulation system, as you the cooling of each such engine, central fi- and central flue pump that circulates with the water of the engine cooling water jacket in um, through the radiator back to the pump. The filling of the drain water system before filling the system to ensure the drain plug- plugs are tight. They use only the clean water filled through the pipes located below the top of the radiator or through the pipes located along the side of the locomotive below the deck plate. And the water supply should be replenished required to make sure that the loss of leakage and evaporates and drain the water system will completely. Um, Open the shutoff valve to remove the drain plugs whenever they occur. The water pumping may serve with all the parts of the system, including the engine block and the new water cooler auxiliaries are drained. Replacement water. The water in the system should be drained completely every month in the make of the water added with until the timeline concentration of the impurities water becomes greater. To keep the concentration from getting stronger, the water should become completely cha- changed. Wheel dynamics. Keep the wheel, di- wheel dynamic variation with the height of the each of a height of the eighth of an inch between the two pairs of the wheels and the void with the too much of the substance imbalance located between the motors. However, the re- recommended with the wheel diameters is maintain the necessary ne- nearly equal to the railroad chew and practice her- um, hermits. Our section two, um, two lubrication diesel engine um, refer to technical manual 55-1001 and lubrication oil um, number 55-1001 refer to figure 49. Generator figure um, 49 generator lubrication order 55-1263 figure 50 figure um, um, 50 motor motor refer to lubrication order 55-1263 figure 50 51 air compressor keep the oil crankcase the level shown with the band amp gauge for the located with the one corner of the crankcase refer to lubrication order 55 20, um 
55, 20, 63, figure 50. Control, refer to the lubrication over 55, 12, 63, fig, um, 50, engine brake, uh, 53, engine brake valve. The less lubrication for the engine valve with the good grade with the graphite grease should be applied with the bearing sparingly with the valve to take them apart for, clean, for cleaning. If necessary, the oil may be applied with the oil hole, which is the high plug in, the, in it. However, this should be done only with the covenant with the take of the valve apart with the oil must be applied with the very sparingly. 54 brakes on the Infertile Protective Manual 55 2021 main, main Journals. I'm looking them over the waste in the connection with the main journal location of the back of the journal box. The fire frequently surface condition may require the use of the good grade lube, wool waste soaked oil in preferred with lubrication order 55 12 63 for at least 24 hours of draining with the, about, for about 6 hours of the term template with the um, temperature with the oil of the room in which the waste is drained should be about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Roll drain waste. The figure of 2 should be packed in a high, tight, tightly halfway of the round with the journal in the back end of the plate. Back end of the bottom of the box and packing B figure two shows it should be pl placed in the position with the moderate pressure against the journal, but sufficient to maintain the good contact applying the water. Waste um, somewhat looser than the side of the box to prevent wiping effect. All right, this shows the um, figure two, the method of packing journal. Ba journal, you have your dust guard um, journals. Uh, a is the drain waste, B is the packing, and C is the semi dried waste. Or the packing should not extend higher than the center of the journal. After the packing is complete with the free oil with the port over the waste along the side of the board box near the center of the waste, the um, semi-dry dry waste C, C in Figure 2 should be placed between the end of the journal but in front of the, end of the box um, shown the purpose of which the serve of the dirt collector which can easily be renewed as referred as required. Refer to lubrication number 55-1263 for lubrication instruction 56. Traction motor, single re reduction gear. When the locomotive is in first place, the serve of the is about, at about one pound of the grease weekly in each of the gear case of the motor. Make frequent inspection through the um, filling openings to preserve that either, either if there is good filling of lubrication of the on the teeth, the root required for the amount of the frequently adding of the grease can be determined avoiding the use of lubrication in the necessary condition with width to probably ex um, exist with a considerable leakage of the grease. At the same time, the greater year of the teeth should be in the good fil film lubricant. Refer to the lubrication order 55-1263, figure 50, lubrication instruction. That's one pound of grease for the week um, in the gear case. Of your tra um, redu single reduction gear, traction motor gears, double gear, um, double reduction gear. Look, one of is equipped with a double degree reduction gear. All gears and bearings, except for the bearing on the communicator end of the motor, lubricated from oil in the grease ca gear case. The figure lub lubrication order 55, 12, 63, figure 50, lubrication instructions. 57, center plate, lubricated center plate at least once a month and often necessary to prefer to lubrication order 55, 12, 63, figure 50, the lubrication instructions. Section 3, um, high potential test. General, whenever the diesel electrical locomotive operated with the Interstate Commerce Commission regulation with the most complied with the requirements of the paragraph of the 253 of the, of, of the laws and the rules and instruction and inspection testing a locomotive other than the steam government period with the high, high, high potential test of electrical circuits providing with the carrying of the current with the potential over the 150 volts for the test for the not required for the locomotive and proper purely in, in, industrial service it is mandatory for the performance of the Department of the Army to the diesel locomotive on the base, uh, annual basis for the after the generator overall extension repair of the electrical apparatus 59 the preparing for the test the prepare for the locomotive for the test provide proceed as follows refer to figure 48 with the cleaning electrical circuits winding for the test and blowing out the dry compressed air lay a bead lift off the all the generator brushes so that they will clear the communicator to disconnect the following cables by reverse and ga connection on the generators the cable between the reverse and the meter shuts connection with the ga and gs of the both generators um the ground wires for the field shutting control relays v1 and v2 um v21 Block and main contact is P1, P2, P3, P2, and P1, um, PIE closed. The set of the reverse to either the forward the reverse direction. Set the engine starting connected to the GS1, GS2, 1, generated field contact, GFI1. Are open. Also, the the throttle idle, idle in posi position. Disconnect the generator ground cable GAKK in order to avoid excess of the high potential surge to allow the connection with the high potential test w wires and circuits before energizing and testing of the wires. To avoid the um, possibility of personal injury, to allow always stand outside of the and at least 10 feet out from the locomotive while the test is being applied. 60. Application of testing voltage. Normal operating, operating voltage test traction motor generator is con um, considered with 225 volts with the 75% appropriate approximate generator voltage per a maximum permissible speed of the locomotive. B. The normal operating voltage of the battery and low voltage control circuit is considered with the 37.5 volts. This is 200, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, of the volt um, cell of the battery, which is approximately normal charge circuit uh, current. To apply high potential test for each of the main circuits, motor winding. Connect one of the high potential cables. 
to the conveniently um, point of the um, on the um, circuit to be tested on the other on, on out of the other the frame, other than the frame of the locomotive, apply the test voltage and if specified the Interstate Commerce Commission requirements. Just the generator armature replace the one at high potential lead with the generator communicator or other locomotive with the frames applied with the test volt. Did you specify with the Internet Interstate Commerce Commission? Um, the generator communicating field winding, starting with the field winding as well, well as the low voltage generator leads, also operate with less than 150 volts, as therefore not included with the high potential circuit. And F, although the Interstate Commerce Commission requires the application of only 50% above normal um, above normal voltage in the winding is permissible, but the equipment to apply with a high potential test value of 75% of the normal wall. Working voltage except with the windings connected with the low side of the generator armature. G. After the test is completed, remove all the testing connections, restore all the wire connections, and remove the blockhead from the contactor. Section 4. Um, power plant and locomotive throttle control testing and adjustment. 61. Description of the power plant. The locomotive contains the two power plants in each of the consisting of diesel engine uh, direct connected with the traction motor generator. The engine can generate the set furnace with the um, power to the driven the traction motor, the motor, motor in which the engineer with the wheels. 62. The power, power, power plant operation. The maximum uh, utilization of the locomotive power of the plant is obtained with wide range operating conditions properly coordinated with the diesel engine power output and the traction generator excitation that depends on the power adjustment of the diesel engine fuel supply and the extra, extra, external field resistor of the traction generator. When the locomotive is operated with the full throttle, the power output of the range of the power plant is accordance with the generator characteristic curve of the figure 3 with the limited with the setting of the fuel stop for the crew of diesel engine fuel pump however the partial throttle position or power plant output. Therefore, the locomotive the performance is determined by the locomotive throttle control in which provides the various data you of the generated excitation together with the properly fitting fuel setting of the any position throttle handle with the same type of the established necessary electrical circuit of the um, application from the power of the traction motor and the motor the all partial throttle position is important, but then the limits of individual power of the plants divided in total lit load equally it is it is in preparation with the, while we're making tests. The following the points should be kept in mind at all times in order to safeguard the equipment and personnel. One carefully observe all the instructions pertaining to the operation of locomotive power plants. Two make 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 all the test wiring connections tightly ensure they are well insulated. Any wire temper wires temporarily disconnected while making the test should be insulated isolated, but they cannot. Become grounded in contact, rotating equipment and control devices and terminal. 63. Hydraulic throttle. Hydraulic throttle. A clean hydraulic system will work but, um, better than last longer and take every precaution to prevent dirt and abrasive from entering the system. Never to handle any of the internal part of the hydraulic system with the dirty, greasy hands. Even a trace of oil or grease will contaminate the brake fluid and cause the rubber to bat parts to deteriorate and well. And swell. Um, if the welding is done near the either, either cylinder, the cylinder must be protected with the removal of the rubber parts, but will not be standing a temperature above 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Never operate the system with the fluid reserve less than half full. Always use the best grade of the hydraulic brake fluid. And interfere interior fluids will clog the lines, damage the rubber parts. Be sure to the ending. Be sure that the clamping bolts holding the operating arms and separated serrated shafts, both the masters and slave cylinders, are tight. Any slippage of the here will strip the serrations and ruin the arm or, or the shaft. It also times making the adjustments to the all right this shows the characteristic curve of a generator gt 558 um the roller followed with the cleaner of the idling cam of the throttle of the handles return the idle position to enter the hydraulic shaft how the hydraulic system must be tight and free with the leaks before attempting to make the adjustment when making adjustments, even the temporary nature of the be sure that the lock washers are placed and all the lock nuts are drawn tightly. Air, air in the hydraulic system. The presence of the air in the hydraulic system will result with the generally unsatisfactory operation that may be detected holding the external th to throttle linkage of the slave cylinder firmly handling um, while the throttle handle is brought up the full throttle position of the slave cylinder movement is not in firm and positive, especially with the latter part of the um, of its stroke near the full throttle of the system contains the air leaks and at some point spongier and non-positive movement in the early um, part of the stroke is not Series and may be ignored to eliminate the air file of the procedure outlined in paragraph 66. All right, 55, leak in hydraulic uh, system. To locate the leaks, wipe all the joints of the piping between the master and slave cylinders clean and dry that they operate with the throttle handling service several times to carefully inspect each of the point of the brake fluid and repair with any leaks before proceeding. Leaking at the pipe of the threads will be careful to correct the disassembly of the joint and the cleaning the um, threads, applying the mixture of seven part of the lithridge um, with three parts of the glycerine um, by volume of the full length of the throttle um, Full length of the threads being very careful not to allow the mixture to enter the hydraulic system with reassembling the joint, allowing the drive to, for at least one hour before applying pressure mixing. All the um, only small amount of sufficient immediate needs for the sense that the cement will dry out and become useless. Keep the lethridge tightly covered when not in use. The joint made, made with the current cement may be used, may be loosened, or by only by heating.
It's the internal leak for the system may occur with the rubber of the piston coupled with either the master of the shade slave cylinder at the needle valve of the master cylinder's position, piston and this needle with the valve with the, uh, provided with the compensate loose for the expansion of the fluid in the hydraulic system is only when the throttle system is in the idle position any jerk of the needle with the valve with the silk will prevent the following with the closing of the um, throttle of the advance through the allowing the field to flow through the piston instead of the moving of the slave cylinder piston to correct the disassembly of the master cylinder, clean all the parts thoroughly. Caution, use only alcohol, isopropanol, or clean brake fluid in cleaning. Never use kerosene, gasoline, or petroleum derivatives. Take precaution to keep all the parts clean while the disassemble, reassemble the parts exactly the same order relative to the position as they have found originally wash and brake fluid just before reassembly to provide an initial lubrication. The leak of the piston cups may be corrected but only by the replacement of the, replacing the cups. You should not only give it the trouble unless they have been in contact with the oil, the grease, or gasoline, or kerosene, therefore should not be replaced until the other provided possibilities are exhausted. 66 ventilation and hydraulic system. The system contains air as of the loss of the brake fluid due to the evaporation leak the neglect to keep the reservoir filled must be a vending with the provided equipment to proceed with the outline below. A, the equipment necessary. We work filler cap to make the brake fluid reserve um, have the ho having a hose connection within two of the small vent plugs. Vent hole plugs. To um, clean the cans of one gallon capacity, one can must have the loose have a hose connection at the bottom. A bleed hosiery with a fitting suitable with attachment in the slave cylinder vent plug. A. 7 foot length of the rubber hose and 1 gallon of the ground grid hydraulic brake fluid. B. The procedure fill the, pre fill the reservoir with the brake filled brake fluid. Install the rework filler cap. Also remove the breather and the slave cylinder crank and the cause of the add of the brake fluid until the crankcase is about two thirds full. And a rubber tubing to join with the rework of the filler with the 1 gallon of the cap with the hose connection at the bottom. Fill the cap and with the brake fluid and set in the other ca ca operation cab roof that elevated some of the position approximately equal to the cab roof height and remove the dust caps through in the slave cylinder and install the bleeder hose. With the other incident in the second with a one gallon can, open the vending valve with again two, tur two turns and apply the approximate one half of the gallon brake fluid to the flow of the, of the system stroke the master cylinder operating with the intervals during the time of the always returning the in into the off end of the travel. The close of the vent, vent plug with the repeat with the same operation on the other end of the locomotive. After the vent plug has been, after venting, both ends have removed the test equipment and restored the original reservoir fill cap and the slave cylinder dust cap screws. 67. Idling adjustment. It's important the engines idle at a speed that they are high enough to allow the auxiliary generator to charge with the batteries in both operation throttle system. It is also necessary both the master and slave cylinders are extremely retracted on or retracted or off the end of the travel. In this position, both cylinders should be firmly against the internal stop. To be, uh, the, be sure that the master cylinder are operating arms are clear with the idle or idle cam at least one thirty second of an inch when the thirty thousand for an idle notch for the master cylinder is back and against the internal stop figure four um, start with the width of the ball side of figure five the set approximately center with the slot adjustment the, the, um, the adjusting the length of the throttle the right of the at G to obtain the following idling speed the sixty five um, ton locomotive the locomotive idling speed RPM to compressor and unloading compressor load set to and minimum. 65 tons set to compressor load unset, uh, uh, idling speed RPM to compressor and unloaded set to 590 plus or minus 10 and compressor load minimum of 550. The idling speed should be within and above the limits of the minimum with the compressor loaded with the pumping and, the gain, and to the full main reserve of the maximum with the compressor unloaded. 68. The generator characteristics um, Generator characteristics are checked with the event adjusted in order to good, maintain good locomotive performance at the throttle operation. Test should be, be made to increase the locomotive output and have observe the following procedure. Install the test me, uh, meters and equipment in accordance with the figure 7 to provide the tackle meter to read the engine speed. The tackle meter shall shaft rising vertically to distribute the assembly with the diesel engine fuel pump the convention, conveniently, conveni conveniently to pl um, place the apply the... Um, Tackle meter is exposed with removing the dust cap of the shaft that rotates on one half of the engine speed. The take of the full load um, curve of the each of the generator using the water box to load for the for each of the curve of the recorder of the generator with the lo um, voltage load, load current speed and sufficient field with the voltage current to indicate the field resistance during the test before proceeding to see that the field control up of the diesel engine fuel pump is tight against the fuel stop at the throttle hand. The throttle position is not advanced for the full throttle of the, of the cam at the four. Figure four recheck the until the, the type B and then insert the test resistor as shown with the figure seven and the self is separately excited with the field circuits so and is provided with the equivalent resistance of the encounter to the servos. With a warm generator, 
Uh, adjust the resistors to obtain the following values. Uh, Self-excited field arms 5.9, separated excited field arms 6.3. If no resistors are available to operate the power plant full throttle with approximately 375 amperage loaded until the above field resistors are obtained in figure 48. Keep the compressor unloaded during the generator test and see that the exter external field resistors are 11 and 12, are 11, 21, 11, 22, are approximately 25 ohms. After setting the external field um, resistors, taking the full load with the cover curve being uh, 1,200 amps is decreasing to zero amperes, approximately 200 amperes steps. Compare this with the generator characters in figure three. The caution, do not hold the currents above the 1,000 amperes for more than three minutes at a time, taking all the readings for the decreasing the load. Gee, the generator characters may be verified only over by a considerable range, adjusting the external field resistors 11, 11, 11, 12, and R221, 11, 22, and R15, 11, 11, 16, 11, 25, and 11, 26. The resistor of the R15, 11, 11, 16, and the R25, 11, 26 affect the high current, low voltage position and portion of the characteristic curve. Most of the schedule should be adjusted first, after which the low current of the high voltage section of the curve is regulated with adjusting the regulators 11, 11, 11, 12, and 11, 21, 11, 22. In general, decreasing the resistor of the Resistors will cause the voltage to rise for the speed of the fall until the limit is reached for the after with further decrease in resistance, resulting in both low voltage, lower speed resistance increased. But just the opposite will occur eventually with the curve being to the assume the incorrect shape. All right, figure four is the master cylinder and cam arrangement using the hydraulic. Um, throttle D is advancing screw, E is a adjusting screw, and F is a clamping screw. You have your idling cam operating shaft, the full throttle cam, the hinge of the neutral um, point of the cam, the, flower, the roller followers, the master cylinder operating arm, your master cylinder, your master cylinder operating arm, and return spring. Uh, the shape of the voltage character is dependent on the stalling of the engine speed for the best operation. The engine speed should not be less than 1,500 RPMs at any point. Adjust the external field resistor until the be best possible characteristics is obtained. The low of the satisfactory is usually a 10% low of the voltage between 600 and 300 amperes low. Most the acceptable limit. They can inspect the engine carefully, lower the power, and must be may also be due with the normal fuel pump everywhere, which can be compensated for, the, for breaking out, backing out of the full fuel stop the screw slightly. If the screw is backed out too far, the engine exhaust will um, become acceptably smoking in a condition that should, should be avoided. If any of the corrections are made, but the engine recheck of the characteristics and readjust the external field resistors. Repeat until a suitable curve is obtained, a.k. if the adjustment fuel, st fuel stop screw is no... Um, figure... Um, the slave throttle, um, slave cylinder, and throttle rod arrangements in the hydraulic throttle control. Your throttle rod and the engine fuel pump, the arm, the collar, the engine shutdown fuel wire, the spring barrel, the custom cap shoe, the vent plug, the hose, the slave cylinder, and the throttle rod returning the spring with the slot adjustment and throttle rod and returning spring tension adjustment. Six, uh, figure six is the hydraulic throttle fluid piping program. The um, center to um, Plant and uh, longer effect of the fuel pump of the engine, both should be reconditioned. The fuel flow with the stop of the screw, set and seal with the pattern feature given them with the power plant output it should be not be broken with the screw adjustment with, until the other possibilities are exhausted. The best necessary with the make adjustment of the screw with the recommended with the resale the after adjusting, preventing the disc indiscrimination movement. In any case, if they should be adjusted with any of the time of the water box, the test is to be made to check the generator characteristics. 69 power plant test and partial throttle for the Cummins HBIS 600 engine for the fuel pump serial number 24684 and, and above. The throttle control adjustment of the partial throttle of the position made primarily to equalize the load distribution between the two power plants. The load unloaded, the loaded unbalance may be detected comparably with the load indicated with the ammeter readings for the power plant simultaneously at the steady leading, steady load. The lift loads um, indicated the ammeters are not provided with the connecting of the meter with each of the generated circuit for the purpose of the checking load distribution. When the color band of the uh, load indicators are used, the variation between the meters should not be more than the width of the L band and generate graduated scale and meters used with the reading that should agree with the 50 amperes of the meter, meters reading s s signal. A motoring, um, motoring current of 100 amperes for the mo of the meters re read of the current for the two motors in parallel. 
Being unloaded, unbalanced, and countered with the throttle handle between with the counter pickup with the first running with the position, which only with a one half with one half inch of the throttle handle will travel the, also along with the quadrant. This will cause that any of the damage should be ignored, so there will be no appreciable load that can be pulled with the locomotive when the throttle handle is in this range. Since the engine and the two speed governor do not attempt to make the check of the adjustment with the partial throttle position being in, based on no load speed of out voltage, the engine speed of the generator voltage dependent on the load of the engine. The governor exercises no control of the power so throttle points of except for the preventing the engine from the over speeding when the load is re removed and if the um, unbalance exceed with the permissible limit of the adjusting throttle control system will only correct the condition with will also coordinate with the diesel engine power output the generated excitation to give the proper locomotive acceleration observe the following procedure check the operation throttle control switch to the TC or the following ta table adjusting necessary of the dimension indicated by the distance of the engine's respective position measured or long all right, this shows the illustration of the equipment of the water box test, the um, shunt, 100 burn water box test, the water being insulated from the ground. The mount motor field shunt contact connection is not shown. Um, water box, the test, the um, GSI, the ground, the two grounds, um, a generator 1, 2, and a motors 1 and 2, uh, excision fields, parallels, um, water box test. All right, the inside edge of the quadrant of the ideal position throttle handle with the motor line contact are closed. P1, P2, P3, P4, 1, and 5, 16. Um, fi um, first running position, all fingers of the throttle control switch is enclosed in 1, 3 quarters of an inch plus or minus 1 half in inch. First step, Re excision resistance added R14, R16, R24, R26, 4 and a half plus or minus a half an inch. Second and separate existence resistance added R15, R16, R25, R11, 26, 5 and 38, uh, 5 and 38, uh, 5 and 3 eighths plus or minus a quarter inch. Install the test shunt, multiple volt, each of the maintain the generator motor and the read and, and generator output. The test meter is not available. The panel pull, panel loader and indicator, indicator shunt with a um, suitable motor voltage, motor, motor, multi voltmeter The vanning of the load indicated for themselves may be used for the rough check of the generator current. Note that each load indicated the recurrent if only one motor should be the one half the generator output the load indicated the scale of the change from the color of the green to yellow with the 325 amp to the yellow, yellow we read the 375 amperes. Connecting from 0 to 300 to 750 volt meter using the 0 to 300 volt scale between the R11 and the ground shown with the figure of 7 will read the generator the fuel, um, voltage do not operate the locomotive fuel throttle but the meter connected with the sense of the generator field may be higher than 300 resulting in impossible damage with the meter provided with the tackle meter to read the engine of the tackle meter connects from the rising the vertically with the distributor Assembly on the diesel engine fuel pump the conventionally placed all ply with the tackle meter expo exposed in the removing the dust cap of the shaft rotates one half of the engine's feet. Three, when the engine shuts down the place with the throttle at the point of the first step of the step of the separate excision resistance has been added four and one and one inch um, plus or minus one quarter of an inch up to the quadrant to rotate the operating cam means for the adjusting screw with the until the roller follower fails on the hinge and point on neutral point with the, between the two halves of the cam shown in figure five. Make sure that the engine is operating copper condition that the starting on one of the check there of the setting um, of the brakes so that the locomotive cannot move move bringing the throttle handle up to the first running position all the throttle switches end and fingers must be closed with the checking generator load with the speed. The caution do not hold this load more than one half of the minute at the time to allow the locomotive between the few feet between the, each of the throttle. The generator load with the point should the 60, uh, 600 amps 18 plus or, plus 3 volts of the 510 plus 2500 RPMs and speed if the engine speed is high, high as the first running position reduce the idle speed to 5 to 10 RPMs recheck the load of high increasing the resistance generator field resistance R13 11 14 R23 and 24 and the speed voltage is following the follow the reverse procedure five, first running with the position load meter beach either um, checked for the loading of the generator installed the traction motor is described in, above and loading with over the on its water box in which case the connection may be made shown in figure seven the adjustment will have the um, effect of the lower throttle handle position upon the point at which the first step of the separation excitation is added seven Partial throttle adjustments at the point where the first of step is the step of the separated with the excitation resistance is added with the higher that should be removed or should be made with the locomotive connected with the water box and loaded setting of the corresponding with the current voltage would have been obtained with the generator with loaded with the stalled motor. However, the load somewhat is high and to be held with the stationary motor for the long enough time to be enabled to obtain the satisfactory reading in addition with the brakes could not be held with the locomotive in stand, at a standstill. If the traction generator is connected with the water box, make adjustment described below, bring the throttle fan handle up to the point where the first step of the separate step separate Excitation resistance has been added. The check of the generator load and speed should be 880 amperes to 27 plus or minus 5 volts to 800 plus or minus of RPMs. 
50 RPMs. If the speed of load, um, load, of the, um, load of low increase the engine's um, fuel is advancing the master cylinder joint of the operating on an increase the resistance generated field resistor R14, R15. Moving the sliding band of the R15 only will also help the correct of this condition to permit the engine speed to reach. Turn will increase the generated voltage for the giving of the current with the 80, 880 amperes of speed load and high allowing the reverse procedure. All right, do not attempt to make the adjustment while holding the load. Return to the throttle handle with the idle position. Make the change with the being required for the check of the load. After the obtaining the satisfactory single, the return with the throttle uh, position. Advance the idle um, cam with the one thirty second of the inch touching the roller file with the make adjustment to advance the screw D of the roller. Uh, figure four of the roller file that must be clear with the cam with the throttle handle in the idle position. With the engine running with the load, without load, place the throttle handle with the full throttle position. See that the fuel control level of the diesel engine pump that comes up with the to um, the fuel fuel stop. The spring and the spring barrel should be compressed. Plus one sixteenth of an inch or to one eighth of an inch under the conditions. If not advanced with the retract of the required for the full throttle section for the operating cams, making the adjusting screw with the E figure four until the desired result is obtained. An adjustment of the equalized load distribution made with the without benefits of the water box above the procedure but should be observed except the desirable operate operate. Both power plants together with the comparison between the two of the sense the accurate load and the spade adjustments are not practical. After completing adjustment for each of the um, end of the locomotive, to check the entire throttle to be sure that the locomotive devices are tightened and that all locking washers are pro placed in per um, per particularly cl clamp screw clamping screw figure F um, figure four. F. Place the throttle handle in the full throttle position. See that the fuel control level on the diesel engine fuel pump is against the fuel fuel, fuel stop screw. Then, when, um, then uh, locate the collar of the throttle rod to clear the engine shutdown and operating with the arm approximately one sixteenth of an inch. Figure five. Do this in the operating arm with the extreme the forward position toward the fan of the end of the engine. Then tighten the um, screw clamp in the engine shutdown. Pull the wire when the arm when the arm start the engine. See that the wire will shut down the idling speed with the engine shutdown knob and the operating and this cab is pulled. Section 5, Traction Generator.